A lot has changed with the TYT MD380 and 390 radios since I first did my programming video for these radios. It's now possible to use this radio without group lists, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to program this radio in a much simpler way than before, which doesn't use group lists. So here we are on the programming software. Before we get started, just open up the general setting and put your radio ID in here, if you haven't done that already. And then let's go over and have a look at the channels. So in any blank code plug, you're going to have just one channel here. And it's just going to be not completely blank, but, you know, just kind of generic information in there. So we're going to be using the same example repeater as last time, which is this one here. GB7NS. You can search for the information for any repeater you want and you'll probably find it online. So you should find a page somewhat similar to this one which will tell you the frequency and color code that are in use. So we're going to put those in first. So 439165 is the output frequency so I'm going to go to here 439165 and the transmit frequency is 430 165 and we're going to give it a name GB7NS and we also need to set the color code which is 3 it says on here CC3 so that's, that means color code 3 it also tells you here that the repeater is on the Phoenix UK network which means we're going to have to go over to the Phoenix UK website and have a look there for information on the talk groups that are going to be in use. So this is the page on their website that tells you about the talk groups. So you've got the local talk groups here, user activated talk groups over here, and there's also wide area talk groups. And if you want to put these in, then you go to digital contacts, you put your name of the talk group in there so let's do local as an example local and it said that the talk group is talk group 9 and it has to be a group call so let's also put in some of the user activated talk groups so worldwide 119 and 129 so let's call it worldwide 119 and put in here 119 oh that didn't set properly there and worldwide 129 and put in here 129 and so that means that you'll be able to look in the contacts on your radio and it will show these contacts and to talk on any of them you just scroll down to the one you want to talk on and hit the push to talk button. So once you've put in all the contacts you want in here, let's go back to the channel information again because we've only got the first repeater slot at the moment. So what I'm going to do is right click on channels information, click add and you get another channel and I'm going to copy this one, copy and then paste it on top of the other one so it gets all the same information we're going to have to put, write in the name again GB7NS but I'm going to put slot 2 there which just tells you on the radio that it's slot 2 and I'm going to change the repeater slot here to 2 and if that's the only repeater you want to use then you can actually just program it straight onto the radio and start using it so let's go back to the radio and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are back on the radio and I've just got it on a simplex channel here to demonstrate it, but it will work exactly the same for you through a repeater. So let's say someone is gonna call up on one of the channels, on one of the talk groups, on the slot that your radio is set to. So I've got another radio here in my other hand and they're going to call up on talk group 13 but you haven't programmed in talk group 13 
with the previous method of programming, you would actually have to have talk group 13 programmed up in a group list to actually receive any call from it. But with the custom firmware, you actually can enable promiscuous mode, which allows you to hear all talk groups. So if someone keys up on another talk group that you don't have programmed in, you can still hear it. So you used to be able to hear all the talk groups, but not necessarily be able to talk back if you didn't have the talk group programmed in. But now with the TIE MD380 tools firmware, you can set the talk group on your radio in an ad hoc fashion, so just as you're using it. So I'll show you how to do that. Open the menu, go down to Utilities, Set Talk Group, and let's say we want to talk back to the talk group that was just on. It will set it there for you, the talk group that was just speaking, so you can quickly just click on Confirm, and then back out of the menu, and see down here it says Ad Hoc TG13. That means if you key up on the radio now, it's going to talk to talk group 13. So I'll give it a try. Although it doesn't show it on the screen, it just says contact 1, it is actually talking to talk group 13. So whoever just called up on the radio will be hearing you on talk group 13, so you can talk straight back to them. If I demonstrate it with another talk group, let's say now someone's going to talk on local, which is talk group 9, here it's coming up there, the talk group. We can quickly go into utilities again, set talk group 9, and now you can talk straight back to them, and that will be talking on talk group 9. So all this means that you no longer need to know which talk groups you're going to be talking on ahead of time. You can just quickly program it from the radio screen and talk on it straight away, which is much more convenient than it used to be. Keep in mind that nothing has changed at all with the time slots. So if you're talking on time slot 1, or someone else is talking on time slot 1, and your radio is set to time slot 2, then you still need to be on the correct time slots. So you would still need to change your radio to time slot 1 to talk to or to hear that person. However, you wouldn't have to have the talk group that they are talking on programmed into your radio to hear them. So, thanks for watching. Click the like button if you did enjoy this video. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do consider it because I do make videos similar to this about DMR, programming, um, listening to digital modes and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then definitely subscribe.